Hello, today we're going to be talking about the required mechanical ventilation rate for an existing building. We'll also be considering to determine and size the required continuous ventilation fan for a whole house based on the local exhaust deficit, operable windows credit, floor area, number of occupancy and infiltration credit to deal with the contaminants which is generated by occupants within the building. By the end of this video you will know more about how to make the correct determination of a continuous ventilation fan system for your new and existing house. A whole building mechanical ventilation is an important part of every building which is used to provide the outdoor air for improved indoor air quality and occupants. A whole building ventilation helps to control relative humidity and reduce moisture accumulation during the heating or temperate seasons. It also is used in removing indoor contaminants such as smoke, odors, dust, and hairburn bacteria. There are three types of whole house mechanical ventilation systems that I will talk about them in my next video. This is a single story family house which is occupied by a family so there are 6 occupants. I have also drawn a floor plan which is showing there are 3 bedrooms, a kitchen, a bathroom and a hall. Let's take a look at some tables here. We use table 1 to determine the initial airflow requirements based on the floor area of the building. Since the number of occupants is uh, higher, we'll ignore using table 1. So we'll use an equation instead. Based on the new construction code minimum exhaust airflow rate requirements, 100 CFM is for the kitchen and 50 CFM is uh, for your full bedroom. For your infiltration credit calculation, we'll use table 3 and table 4 which can allow us to select the appropriate ACE and WAC factors. As I mentioned before, based on uh, ASHRAE standard 62.2 uh, 2013 and the new construction code minimum floor rate uh, requirements for an intermittent ventilation system for a kitchen and bathroom exhaust are 100 CFM for a kitchen, French hood and a 50 CFM in full bathroom. And we assume two people in the first bedroom and one people per additional bedroom when the number of uh, occupants is uh, higher than the one bedroom plus uh, one occupant we add the uh, 7.5 CFM for each additional people. There are operable windows uh, in the kitchen and in the bedroom and the bedroom has an exhaust fan which we measure at 20 CFM and the kitchen has a range hood that we measure at 7 CFM. CFM. We get uh, 10 credits uh, per window per room uh, regardless of how many windows there are. Uh, once again, uh, one story house, a floor area of uh, 1300 square feet, 3 bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, there are 6 occupants and the blower door test result is 1500 CFM at 50 pascals. Our first step is to calculate the total desired ventilation rate and the first part of uh, equation deal with the floor area we multiply the 1300 square feet by 0 0.03 that gives us uh, 39 CFM. For the second part we need to now consider the number of uh, occupants as we know there are 6 occupants so We'll multiply 6 occupants by 7.5 CFM per occupant that gives us uh, 45 CFM to deal with the contaminants which is generated by occupants within the building. So we need to now add them together uh, 39 plus 45 that gives us a total required ventilation rate of uh, 84 CFM. And the bathroom uh, required ventilation rate is uh, 50 CFM. The exhaust fan can only provide a 50 CFM. There is an operable window that gives us a 20 CFM. And the deficit number is uh, 20 CFM. The kitchen required ventilation rate is 100 CFM. 
the exhaust fan can only provide a 70 CFM. Again, there is an operable window that gives us a credit of uh, 20 CFM again, and the deficit number is uh, 10 CFM. The total deficit of uh, bathroom and kitchen 10 plus 10 uh, equals uh, 20 CFM to convert to continuous CFM requirement we divide 20 by 4 that gives us uh, 5 CFM of uh, continuous ventilation rate and lastly infiltration credit to calculate the infiltration credit we will use this uh, equation 0.052 multiplied by WSF multiplied by ACE multiplied by blue water test result CFM at 50 pascals. The building estimated infiltration is uh, 0.052. The weather and shielding factor is uh, 0.48. And the S factor is 1. And the blue water test result is uh, 1500 CFM at 50 pascals. CFM infiltration uh, equals uh, 0.052 multiplied by WSF of 0.48 multiplied by S factor of 1 multiplied by blue the test result of 1500 CFM at 50 pascals that gives us an infiltration credit of uh, 38 CFM and to determine the whole house ventilation fan uh, we'll use this uh, equation uh, CFM fan equals CFM total plus CFM exhaust deficit minus CFM infiltration so if we drop these numbers and we see that comes out a total ventilation rate of 51 CFM so we need to install a fan that can provide a total continuous ventilation of 51 CFM and that's it for today I appreciate you for watching this video.